Let's take a closer look at CAFTA's impact on beef trade. Recently, reporter Brian Baxter had a chance to get a first-hand look at some of the expanding opportunities for U.S. beef in Latin America. Check out a restaurant menu in Panama and you might be surprised to see U.S. beef featured prominently. This butcher shop and restaurant in Panama City leads the way in promoting U.S. beef for their customers. It's a scene that's growing more common as economies in Latin America grow and as the Central American Free Trade Agreement approved back in 2005 continues to open the door wider to U.S. beef exports. Panama, where we're at right now, is a good example of free trade agreement. We have declining duties, uh, getting everyone more on a level playing field. So the, the free trade agreements, without a doubt, are the, it's sort of the spark for the engine. But the, the underlying demand and supply dynamics are there anyway. The reality is that they don't have enough production to meet their increasing uh, demand. U.S. beef is the perception that the people in Latin America has about U.S. beef is a really good quality product. Why? Because the consistency of the product, because of the marbling, the tenderness, and that they know that whenever they can try this product, they know it's going to be always good. The U.S. Meat Export Federation hosted their sixth annual Latin American product showcase in Panama City. The event put U.S. beef exporters face to face with 120 buyers representing 14 different countries in Central and South America. The sale of U.S. beef to these markets has been directly impacted as tariff barriers have steadily come down over time under CAFTA. We do have some more open doors now than we did 10 or 15 years ago. So we're seeing that product coming down here now. Since last year, CAFTA has become the difference, I should say, in, in regarding beef. The reason is because the tariff is getting to the point that it has become very, very interesting for a select grade. Since the beginning, the choice is zero tariff, so it's not much of a problem. That was the way it was being established since the CAFTA was written. And this is because the choice is not competition for the local producers. But now, over the years, the tariff on the select, it has been reduced. So that is something that is a new opportunity for these countries that in the past they were only able to buy choice because of the tariff. In the first half of 2016, the sale of U.S. beef and beef variety meats to Central and South America has been worth nearly $80 million. In Panama City, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.